let's see if I'm oh, the streaming is started so hell no not Twitter we'll go back to here and say hi everybody it's Peter again and welcome back to the second up second second episode second episode of the joy of image manipulation and there I is now today we're going to see how I turned this picture of a drooling cat into this picture of a vampire cat. So anyway, so here's the original image of Kathy and her cat Batman. Batman the cat or Catman, whatever, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so let see what we do well picture cat is drooling so someone in on facebook said well it, it could be like a demon so i i came across the idea of well what if the cat is actually a vampire so first thing you do is we need to give kitty a couple fangs so i went ahead and Oh, I don't know if you could see that. Uh, put in another layer and fill that in with white. So you can see there. there's the fangs. And uh, what I did is I just made these three teeth and just flipped them over to make, make the fangs for the kitty. So we're going to go with get our black arrow which is I think they call it the direct selection thing and we've got a path if you see here in our paths over here uh, get rid of that and bring back the original picture and well we're gonna fill the fill the uh, okay we're gonna get rid of this layer have another layer and fill the teeth in with the white so where we have the teeth now I know it's a little bit too big for the cat's mouth but we're gonna move that around so we'll go to free transformation bring it somewhere around where the cat is and uh, bring down the size a bit because it won't fit and it's still maybe even a little bit smaller that should work so now we hold down the control command key so we can move the teeth around a bit and we go we've got ourselves nice fangs for the kitty and we'll hit enter so we'll do that but you'll say that's a teeth are above the lip so what we're going to do is turn off the teeth for a second and take our selection tool and get the lip of the kitty But that's not working because hey, I'm on the I'm on the wrong wrong layer. We want to go this layer. So we get the kitty lip, and we'll turn that back on. We'll invert it, or no, no, we don't have to invert it. We'll just hold down the control the option key and hit mask. And that hides the thing because we were, once again, on the long, wrong layer. We'll go back to layer one, which I'll actually change to teeth. Teeth right now and hit the, hit the inverted mask and there the teeth are covered. Now lose a little bit of the fangs so we'll unlock the, the, uh, the, whatchamacallit? the uh, layer mask 
and hit the V to get move it and move the teeth down just a little bit because we're in the have to highlight the teeth and not the mask bring the teeth down there we go so we've got our vampire teeth ready now this is okay for now but we also need to put if there's teeth here and there's a dribble there from the attack there should be a second dribble so there we go second dribble and uh, let's see what can we do now uh, so look back at the original see that the, the blood splatter I didn't really like it on the first one so we're gonna do something a little bit different now on the new one I went ahead previously and the one yeah I did uh, see it in here I did uh, did an outline with the pen to make a, a splot not just a little drops of blood but a big splatter of blood there or something that could be that and what we'll do is we'll get a nice nice red there about there and fill oh once again we're going to need a new layer because otherwise it'll go in the wrong place and we'll fill that with blood now that's a little bit over the top on opacity so we'll bring that down just a little bit actually we'll also change the 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 what you call it the uh, shit. the mix mode or the whatever this is called uh, see what screen does it disappears on the screen so maybe soft light That'll do it, and we'll bring the opacity back up. Uh, that's not looking right. So, screen. And gripping, gripping. Uh, Gripping, ed not education, uh, entertainment going on here. Let's see what overlay does. Yeah, that'll do. That'll do. No. But hard light. All right, there. We'll go with hard light for the time being. And we'll go into our layer styles, which doesn't show up because I don't have it set right, but I'll put a little bevel on it. There we go, looks more like blood. Uh, but we'll go to the blending options and Alright. So Alright, so what's that do? See what that looks like up close. So, yeah, that that'll be okay for it. So that's from the attack from Dracu Kitty or whatever you want to call it. So we'll do on another layer above that. I did. Uh, you might not see it. There we go, two little bite marks. So we'll go to check, to change it to black and fill in those. And all right, and 
this one we can change the opacity. Oh, actually, we'll change the blend mode to see what multiply does. What about soft light? That's kinda okay. Let's see, overlay. This is riveting stuff, isn't it, people? I'm just trying to have a thing to make it look. Because, like, where, where I have it here, it just looks like there's black spots on the... on the... Uh, on the blood splatter, so let's try... We're back to multiply. So maybe if I go into blending little bit if I move that it disappears if I move it that disappears or you can go back to get close to this and go to the black arrow and click that and click that no wait no it's this and this Subtract front shape and hmm. Let's see what. No, that's the whole thing. So deselect back to the work path. Click that and click. that a selection and we'll switch that up with the red but we'll make the red a little bit darker and switch to the brush which is huge so I'll lock the transparencies and that doesn't appear to be doing anything. Let's go to eraser. And once again, that's huge. And we'll bring it down. Well, let's see what white does. Uh, D. That's doing nothing. So that's the right thing. Well, let's just start again. We'll just get rid of these and do that, and we'll get to the work path, uh, which disappeared. back to that all right so we'll get rid of those we shall go back to that hit off of them Do another layer and do click those. Now we'll put.
put the blood back on. I'll go I to get the color. Once again, on wa wrong layer, I get the red. Okay, go here and going to darken this up considerably. Okay, and make that a selection and get back to the B. Z. Whoa. Oh, because that's transparent. All right, so we'll Z that. What I, the problem I'm having is that if I lock transparencies, there's not actually anything there. If I unlock it, it goes everywhere. So what I'm going to do is make it even darker, paint over these, and turn the and that doesn't work either. All right, we're going to try another tact here. All right, so we've got a new layer, and we will just fill in that and that is the opposite of what I wanted to do so we'll Z back and go to A Let's see if it's filled and that's reverse of what I want to do so we'll, we'll reverse that if it'll let me, there we go, and try inverting the selection. Let's see. Nope. Hmm. This is very strange. Um, go that, we'll go to work. Oh, because possibly it's because I've got... See, turn the blood off again. There's that. That will fill with the dark red, and it's doing the opposite of what I want to do. Um, oh, because it's still there. Um, let's see what if I switch it to combine shapes. There we go. Because it was uh, the. Uh, the blending mode is it's called or the how the shapes are set up path operations it was set up to do everything but where I was so that fixed it so we've got the uh, the dark wounds and we shall now click the smaller holes and we'll make it a little bit more ready and fill that in Z because once again it switched back to that. Hi, Vey. All right, see if it works now. There we go. All right, so we'll put the blood spider back. So we've got a good image of where the cat attacked. And now this is really gripping. Oh, let me see, let me let you see me. This is really gripping, isn't it? Okay, back to work. Of uh, all right. So we've got the attack by the cat, the bloody neck, the dr but hey, the teeth don't have anything on them. They're they're rather clean, rather clean. So uh, we'll go to the teeth. And um, just gonna, we still got the red from the blood. We, in this case, we can click the uh, lock transparencies. And what basically what that does is it'll paint anything that has pixels on it. And if there's not pixels, it won't do anything to it. So we'll, that, we're there and we'll go to the brush 
And how big is my brush? Because it's kind of small there. Oh, because I'm not on the brush. Am I? Hmm. The motif. Oh, there we go. Because my opacity was only at 20%. So let's put the opacity up to 100%. Increase the size. There we go. That's a good that's a good look at that and we shall unlock the transparencies and also bring out the layer styles here and we'll give it a little bit of bevel and emboss. So the teeth look a little bit uh, three-dimensional. And we shall do... All right, so there we go. The Dracula cat. But those eyes are looking so normal. So we shall... So we've done the fangs. Now we'll do the eyes. And we'll do that once again in another layer. So this is the splatter. And this is the holes. Now we will do the eyes. So we'll do up another layer and call it eyes and that is that so we shall hmm, fill in the eyes with the red because I don't know so we'll, we'll do the blending mode to, so you can see most of the eyes let's go with with change the color of the eyes so here's the eyes beforehand and now a little bit red de demon possessed maybe and we will change oh we got that color and uh, uh, and maybe add an extra thing over it do that as a selection. We'll go to back to the brush. We'll change the color to a little bit yellow. All right. And we'll bring the brush down a little smaller than that. And we'll just do a swipe down the eyelids. Now it just looks like a bunch of lines, but what we're going to do is once again change the blending and do it to screen, which is too much. So what about lighten? Because most of this is just trial and error on my part, as you can figure out. Oh, but that's changing stuff here. We want to go with the color dodge and overlay. Okay, that's the idea, but the uh, the edges are a little bit too sharp for like it's not fuzzy. So we'll, let's go to the filter. And go to blurs and do Gaussian blur to see how much we can make it from looking like lines and a little bit of a glow coming from the pupils. There we go at just 7.8 pixels. That'll do it. All right. 
Now, once again, gripping stuff. She looks a little bit too alive for after being attacked by a vampire cat, don't you think? So what we're going to do is turn everything off except for the original. We can leave that on. That's okay. We'll highlight the original. And we will use the selection tool. The quick selection tool. And go over Kathy's skin so we get all that thing and we'll go down and do a adjustment layer for you now we'll go with vibrance because that there there's two different things oh and since it they were highlighted apparently with the eyes too uh, there's a mask when you hit the vibrance the mask comes up uh, with everything that was selected so saturation is the amount of color on an image so if I put everything down she turns black and white and if you put it up the other way she looks like she's radioactive so we'll go back to the originals now saturation is all colors Whereas vibrance are the change the amount of color on a certain range, which is like the the skin and things like that. So it whereas saturation changes the color all colors, the vibrance changes more a, a subset of all colors. So here at minus forty looks a little bit okay that should do it with all right so she's drained and she's looking pale from because of it so we can go back and turn everything else on but we'll go to here and bring on our thing again and it's black so we don't need the eyes eyes uh, masked out so we will go back here so here demon cat vampire cat his victim but it's awful bright for the cat to be out. So let's try a few things. So let's go up here and we'll try styles, which will, there's one that will make things look like it's happening at night. Uh, just, uh, hey. Hmm. Well, because it's just the eyes, so we're not going to have anything. We're going to have the original, and but not normal. It is soft light. Did we? No. What soft light? Hard light. Nope. Vivid light. Yes, vivid light. That was good. So we won't try that. What we're going to do is put in a vignette, which will darken the uh, darken the surroundings to make it look darker or like old-fashioned gothic thing. So we'll put another layer. We'll zoom out a bit. And we're going to go back to default colors. And I'm going to increase. Why doesn't that show up? All right. Nope. So we'll get a little bit bigger. A little bit bigger. 
That's a little bit too much. Bring it down. No. Up. That should be about the right size. So we'll do that. We'll change the hardness of the thing to 0% so it's a nice soft thing. And we will click and yeah, we can do that. So click here, hold the shift down, click here, hold the shift here, here, and here. So it's, I know it things, but we'll, uh, it's doing, covering a lot, but we shall do a little bit more with the blending. So we'll go from normal to multiplied doesn't do much. So let's go to overlay. That does a little bit, but let's try hard light. That'll do, yeah, that's all right. Uh, but over here, let's do a brightness and contrast layer. So we'll bring the brightness down. Bring the contrast up. And all right. And now it looks like. Yes, we'll do that in a second. But as you see, when you bring in the brightness contrast, they put up a mask. So what I'm going to do is not being able to see how big my thing is. Okay, that'll do. So we'll go back. We'll, we'll paint here a bit and clear up Mr. Kitty a little bit, but we'll also put on a mask here, and so we're black, we want to have, yeah, black is right, because it'll get it, you can see his eyes a bit, although we want to too much so let's go down to 40% and all right that'll, that can do it but we also I'll add a solid color layer and find a nice blue okay and once again everything's covered up you don't see anything but if we go to the blending options and do it to hue, that's not right. Um, color. Nope. Luminosity. That's freaky. Oh, um, overlay. That could, yeah, that that's looking good. But we'll bring the opacity down a bit, and also go into the thing, the thing with the stuff, and bring down that. And just so it's sort of reverse that. All right. And what else can we do? Uh, maybe on here. Uh, we're on white, so we want to go on black. Maybe lighten that up a 
little bit to get a kind of idea of what's going on. And there we go. And all right, so there we go. We've got uh, Catula Mark II. I, my first version looked like this, which is okay, but now we really got into uh, what it is. So, um, I know this was kind of boring, and uh, hopefully next, well, not, subject was not boring, it's just I was a little bit boring, so hopefully I'll be a little bit better next time, but uh, thanks for everyone for watching. And uh, that's about it for me. Bye.